and analysis of the socialization in social media. So you see that how many of you are aware with some of the theories of segment herd? Some of the theories or how many of you have heard the name segment herd? Yeah, psychologist. Now, his theory is very important in the pretext that he talked about three kind of socialization. First is based on ID. Second is ego. Third is super ego. Any idea? Id, ego, super ego. Any idea about what exactly it is? These are the thing. No? Okay. Id or id as we call it. Is human at barbaric self. Koi development nahi hai. You see that you know at early stage. Just. Uh, how the kids talk. Mere papa hai. My father. Even brothers will talk my father, my father. Not your father. So, the development, the socialization has not taken place in this case. So, what is socialization? What is socialization? What is socialization? Yes, in a way, but that would be a very broad definition in Gulf. Making meaning of our lives. Attributing meaning to the our lives. Isn't it? See, if you inculcate the moral values and see, socialized you are. Now, probably I believe that uh, there is this web series which is quite famous nowadays, Khaki. Any of you seen that? The antagonistic character in that series was socialized but he never inculcated the moral values. So, socialization was there. Socialization on the wrong pretext. Changing heroes. No. So, socialization that how we attribute meaning to our life. So, it is human at barbaric self. Isn't it? Barbaric. Why? You see that during the course of civilization and evolution, we were barbaric. Survival was the only rule. So, the morality was completely absent. So, in that case, when man is at barbaric self, it is called id, ego. Ego is, first we will discuss super ego. Super ego is, when a human behavior and part is completely guided by the social values. You must have heard about the altruistic man. Kya hote hai altruistic man? Philanthropic. Hmm? selflessness. Altruistic is one who lives for the society. He has no, you know, private interest. Every part of him will be dedicated to the society. Okay, he has no self. So, when you are completely self, then there is this part called superego. Now, ego. Ego is a mixture of two. It, superego, the societal self and your barbaric self. <coughs> so, how you behave. See, probably if we go by the id, then we will be uh, characterized as a society where dog eats dog. That is the case, na? And if we will go by the super ego, then probably there will be no fight, no dissonance in the society. So, largely society is done by something called ego. That some part of it is also there in the ego and a significant part of super ego is there. So, it is how you behave it privately when there is nobody to see you. Maybe some part of your fantasy, maybe some part of your, you know, disown in the society comes in the private. Okay. But when you come to the public sphere, 
then bhai you, there are so many peoples and you have to behave in such a way that you won't be felt bad theek hai so ego this is what exactly happens on the social media where there was first characteristic feature of anonymity largely social media was anonymous and to some extent to significant extent it is anonymous still leave apart the blue tick part or the instagram part so it is anonymous still so they you started behaving in such a way that your id was your private your barbaric self was preponderant there was a preponderance of the barbaric self theek hai so you see that the uh, you know issues like cyber bullying or trolling there is no quality control there is no social regulation so you start doing it in a way where there was that your barbaric self was preponderant or it just signifies or encapsulate all other self and that is the reason why you see that even learned men sometimes behave or write in such a way that there is a problem okay and probably you see that this uh, this person or devendra patnaik we know about him on how he tweets jante ho ki nahi devendra patnaik ko no one and the person who has written this book called uh, mahabharat ramayan a different version and alternative version of mahabharat and ramayan so it's sorry devdak patnaik ha devdak patnaik so he generally talks with all abuse and such other issues and there are so many other persons like that even though he was nan and he this has this reputation he says that he just does it to encounter the slangs and the trolls to control the it but this is the part about anonymity was an important feature of social media that's why the behaviors like trolling and such other issues now there is also a tendency of narcissism ab narcissism kya hota hai excessive obsession with self excessive oxygen with self uh, excessive obsession with self now the generations of the instagram where everything your everything is private sorry public photos achievement everything is public if this comes to this part now the sensible parts come from the ego so if if we see it that there are two tender, tendencies are occurring at one one that you are completely intertwined with the public world and you are completely segregated segregated from the public world so there is a tendency towards a binary binary digital binary exist on the internet kaha se aa raha hai ye id se aa raha hai ab digital binary ka matlab kya hua aur ye kaise union hote hai ab dekhiye you see that even i uh, give this example quite frequently that earlier only the upper caste or the dominant caste people used to write their names on the vehicles brahman rajput gujar jat these are the dominant and the upper caste you will never see the name of the scheduled caste and such other person on the uh vehicles or anywhere so now exactly as started and nonity was the feature but largely there was synchronicity in the view there was an identity of the operation in case of dalits so they started writing something and it was appreciated and accommodated by other sections in 1960s there was rise of dalit panther party how many of you know it dalit panther party jante what was their demand 
Dalit Panther Party, no one? How many of you know about the Black Panthers Party? No? See, Black Panther Party started at the same time with Martin Luther King and largely they wanted equality in the society. Same was the demand of the Dalit Panther Party. They wanted equality in the society, sometimes even with the violent means. But the idea of Dalit Panthers Party failed. Why? Because you see, the Dalits are never a monolith community. Monolith samaste ho na? Or a homogeneous community. There are differences even among the Dalits. Dalits. There are hierarchies even among the Dalit. Dalit in itself is a word. First, initially we use the Harijan. Harijan is something which is of the ritual lord. Dalit is something which has an identity of the oppressed and coined by the Fule because we are oppressed. So that is the part. So Dalit in UP, in Maharashtra, in Bihar, Dalit everywhere was different and there was no common identity. Now with the rise of social media, the identity of oppressed started occurring everywhere. And you see that after that, that anonymity wala part was gone. Now there is a tendency even on YouTube you will see that there are significant amount of Dalit raps. Even in Delhi metro, people walk with the bags of, uh, with their caste name, Dalit caste name. For example, Chamar, Chamar rap is also there. So they are asserting the identities. Initially, it was not possible. And it is largely taking place in the adolescent phase. Initially, there was binary that, you know, people used to hide their names. Now they are asserting their names. That's why the anonymity part is gone. Now everybody is saying that we are this part. So this part is known as mediatization. That since adolescence, the media shapes your identity. So mediatization is significantly contributing to the process of socialization. Okay? So much Now, B, if mediation is happening, it will not happen in vacuum. It will go along the process of other socialization, which is socialization based on family, based on schools and colleges. Now, in this phase, other type of stereotyping is also coexisting with the process of socialization by social media or as we call mediatization. Now, the other kind of idiosyncrasies like based on gender, based on caste, based on class is also creeping in. Okay? So that part is creating a tension across the socialization. In school, you are learning something different. And in, on social media, though the worldview or the perspective is a bit global, but that perspective also comes in and there is no quality control, no control and everything. So your barbaric part, your ID part is getting preponderant or getting heavy over the other parts. That's why you see that there is this process of Trolling, cyberbullying, it is starting within the young age. How many of you have, uh, know this term, Delhi Boys Club? Delhi Boys Club. It was in the news, I believe, in 2020 and 2021. Idea? Hai? 
Yes, the Instagram key is based in Delhi and CR with the brats, rich school children. Generally, CEO tape the girls in their classes and in the school. So, and they are doing it in the early phase of like in the early age of 13, 14. So, this type of tendency is coming from very soon, Delhi Boys Club. And there are so many incidences like this. And there are incidences in the Rhine Public School or in the uh, modern schools. So, there are significant extent where the type learning based on the learning from the gaming and the social media such type of tendencies are coming now so socialization is there but do you think that it is complete socialization or half baked socialization the overall process of the world is changing now we are moving towards global villages ye to sabko pata hai global villages and super state ideas are coming from the world ideas about the equality ideas about the fraternity cosmopolitan identity but in reality everything is different so aspiration is based on the social media and the reality is different so there is a conflict based on this conflict the issues are arising like millennials are losing interest in democracy now they are supporting the far right governments according to a recent survey that nearly 58% of the millennials are supporting the authoritarian government. This in itself is a crisis for the democracy. <coughs> and you see the manifestations of it that there is a significant rise in the overall numbers of the far right government across the world why because you see that socialization is happening aspirations are different realities are different and based on this see china in itself is a propaganda government so they say that you know based on this propaganda our government is running successfully and there are certain other issues which are saying that authoritarian government is functioning fine because there are so many divergent interests and this is the basic principle of liberty or, or liberal government that sectional interests should be balanced with and people don't want sectional interests to be balanced with particularly young people so that's why the socialization is happening but it is only partial socialization now when you socialize you have peoples to talk to not only in that sense but you view their faces, you view their expression and such other. So men is an animal in the world and with the world. And this is one of the most important principles because of which online learning is not successful. How many of you have followed this point? Online education, particularly in the schools, is not successful. Man is an animal in the world and with the world. You see that in schools, uh, some students are really intelligent. Some generally try to imitate them. Okay, and some just follows ki bhai class kar rahi to hum bhi karenge. So this is something we call imitation pedagogy. And this is generally true for nearly all the schools. Now, in online learning, what you are doing is you are learning by yourself. There is no competition. There is no imitation. And there is no partially viewing and watching the world. You are completely isolated. 
So that's why online learning is not that successful in the pedagogic process. On the other hand, it is quite successful in the andragogic process. Andragogic, the ed education for the adults. Same is true with the early socialization. Because you are socializing in early and based on only partial viewpoint, your socialization is not complete. You are not seeing all the and comprehending all the aspect that is to be watched at. So, you are taking and understanding only the parts which is propagated with a certain viewpoint. Cambridge Analytica, the culture of the memes. So, the, all these parts signifies a process of socialization which is only partial. Okay? So, these are the largely conceptual part. Now, we will try to see what is written. Socialization and communication. You see that it talks about faster, easier and comfortable, flexi uh, flexible kind of socialization on uh, social media. That's why people are comprehending or understanding the issues with Im images and such other issues. No. Satisfaction on the human needs for the social interaction. Because we are living in a world where there is hardly any time for the parents, even for their kids. So in this uh, such cases, uh, the social media is providing a platform where people in, uh, so, uh, interact with the other people, people of other region and based on this, the sense of alienation develops. Alienation pata hai sabko? Alienation largely pertains to the sociology wala pet that you are detached with the yourself and detached with the family. See, uh, there is this difference that when we, when I was a kid, we used to play at the ground. Cricket, football or whatever game is there. But now people generally play on the playstations and the gaming consoles. So you see that socialization is not taking place that also. But due to ease of the communication based on the social media, some groups develop. So it is providing a faster way to socialize. Responsible for changing the and shaping the society. So shape society in one and another way. And individual changes and influence millions knowingly and knowingly. Largely the points are nearly same. Changing is, uh, with billions of people involved in various hundred processes of the social media networks. Sharing their lifestyle globally, diverse events, occasions and we've influenced each other. Enhanced learning opportunities. Again as I told you, important for pedagogic or andragogic process, not for pedagogic process. Now, access to health information. These are the way where which are development now negative impacts psychological issues alienation is there competition is there you want to get famous and this is the problem important problem with the super ego that you know you will do everything so that you know you don't lose your identity social media and catfishing people fake social media networking profiles in the process befriending stranger which is a Sometimes stolen, uh, results in stolen identity or fake identity and sometimes uh, even the issues, violence are also there. We have seen the cases recently. Now, effects on the real life relationships. This is the part based on uh, there is the study that nearly 55% of the divorce are resulting because of uh, the issues of the social media in the United States. Addiction to the social media. And this is the study of the Harvard Health. Uh, now, use of social media for popularity. You know, this is the point about the super, super ego that sometimes you become narcissism, narcissist for that. Rise of sentiments over sensitive issues. False propaganda, fraudulent ideology and triggering of the India, morph videos, replacing the primary source of the reliable news, threat to the internal security, Quick recognition, social media has a big impact on people's everyday life, self-esteem, daily activity, even to a considerable extent, job decisions. Now, socialization in the closed room. Basically promoting socialization, but in the closed room, people feeling that social revolution through societal change 
by proactively working on the social media hard reality is entirely different from reality exist on the social media platforms uh, social media platforms now influence of social media on youth and teenager now how many of you know about the yellow revolution yellow revolution yellow for singapore hong kong sorry and wall street movement pata hai na sab yes sir kya hua tha isme largely ha wall movement kahan se shuruaat hui thi in sab cheezon ki सोशल मीडिया से शुरुआत हुई थी ना तो इफ वी आर सेइंग दैट इट इज कंप्लीटली डिफरेंट सोशल मीडिया और ऑफलाइन एंड ऑनलाइन मीडिया इज कंप्लीटली डिफरेंट तो ये कहना भी गलत है तो सोशल मीडिया इज चेंजिंग द वर्ल्ड बट इन व्हाट वे इट इज इंपॉर्टेंट सोशल मीडिया दैट यू नो द मूवमेंट दैट हैपेंड इन द वेक ऑफ अबोलिशन ऑफ Preventions of atrocities against ST, ST community in 2018. याद है? After the Supreme Court judgment. So after that, <coughs> it was based on the social media, based on the identity that you know. Which when I said that the identity of digital binary reduced and there was an homogenization based on the, on the development of the identity. उसके बाद वो रिवोल्यूशन हुआ सो दैट इज अनदर इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट कि वे द सोशल मीडिया इज हेल्पिंग इन द सोशलाइजेशन नाउ इन्फ्लुएंसेस ऑफ सोशल मीडिया ऑन द यूथ व्हिच वी हैव डिस्कस्ड सोशल मीडिया एंड क्रिमिनल एक्टिविटीज साइबर बुलिंग हैज बिकम अ मेजर इश्यूज अमंग यूथ यूथ इन द लास्ट कपल ऑफ डिकेड्स एग्रेसिव एक्ट दैट इज कैरीड आउट बाय ग्रुप और इंडिविजुअल रिपीटेडली एंड ओवर टाइम अगेंस्ट हु कैन नॉट इजीली डिफेंड हिमसेल्फ aggression occurs via electronic method via the internet social media and terrorism uh this part is also there that you know social uh, radicalization is there and radicalization is a part of socialization that too in a negative way so why some people are radicalized and is it because only of the social media Yes, that is the part, na. You see that significant number of the population who joined the ISIS movement in was from French, or French society and the Belgian society. Why? Sir, no public display of religion. Yes, that is one of the important reason. But you see uh, that if we follow the developmental path of the religion in France and Belgium. then there was no such grievances in the first generation there was no such grievances in the second generation it is only with the third generation that such grievances started in the or was seen in the public domain nahi samjhe see uh, when first generation migrated to these societies they never cared about the religion and largely they were intertwined with the secular society of the france and belgium the same process was witnessed in the second generation but in the third generation at one side you are saying that you know we are a secular society and we will give equal opportunities to everybody but in reality when somebody wears a religion color or whatever it is such uh, the uh, placement is low opportunities are few based on that people feel deprived people feel alienated and such powerlessness such power vacuum was answered on the social media where there are so many peoples same is the part which i explained with the help of digital binary and digital unification from digital binary to digital unification a process started where people powerless people or the where the power vacuum was there started supporting such kind of radicalizing tendencies and even it is still witnessed now the protest in the france over the student 
uh, scholarship and even in the uh, Britain and even in India. So these are the issues which is supported particularly in the aftermath of the Rohit Vemula case. Yadhe sabko Rohit Vemula case and the Dalit movement that was woven around it. It was largely started with the social media. But at the same time, uh, it is also a threat to the security where issues like if you have seen that, you know, how many people are there in the scheduled caste people or the uh, subaltern people are there in the Indian cricket team, such issues are being raised. So certainly it will have a negative impact. And this is the recent news. There was a question that how many Dalit people, uh, people uh, cricketers plays for India. And it was largely in the Australian media. And it was supported by the Indians to a significant extent where the number of the player from the scheduled caste and scheduled tribe and the minority communities in the Indian cricket team was questioned upon. So these are the part about the social media. And impact on different section, though, though it is not covered. Me, sir. Huh. Can you explain about the LO revolution part in Singapore to mention something? See, largely, uh, it's not Singapore, Hong Kong basically, uh, they generally carried the yellow umbrella and it was basically because China want to integrate them, take a one nation, one system kind of and because it was largely, it is yellow revolution, the, uh, the context is that it exactly happened, the people mobilized over the social media. So important part that we have to understand is, that what is the social movement and how people mobilize. So people generally use some medium and in this case the medium was provided by the social media. Homogeneity and you know at same place. The important is that in social movement people come there physically. But such movement the social media is changing the nature of social movement. Even in India. Though it results in half, uh, you know, half kind of social movement where people generally and how many of you know about the net neutrality bill or net the impact or uh, the issues of net neutrality? Nee? See, uh, in 2016, 17, I believe uh, that Modi government, not Modi government, just uh, we can say Modi government too, uh, Mukesh Ambani. Uh, tried to brought a bill, not a platform where his internet will support, internet will support some of the selected channels and some of the selected medias on the Geo network. Okay. Free basics, no, privatization. Free basics yes. Privatization of, Haan, privatization of the internet. So based on this, the contention of the people is that net is a public good, internet is a public good. And if you are lending the money to someone, you will not ask that what he will use with it or what he will do with it. So give us the internet, we will pay for it, but we are, you are not supposed to tell us that you know how we will use it. So based on that, there was a social media movement which forced the government to alter the public opinion, to alter the standings on the net neutrality. And it is the result of the social movement, med, move, social movement on social media which changed the government and particularly in the age of metaverse where a significant number of the people are present at one space any changes can be brought so social media the process of socialization and social movement is an important and significant factor in the issues of the socialization but the issue is that on how much and on what are the aspect on which such kind of socialization is witnessed and what are the aspect where there is only half socialization. So if we, talk, if we talk about generally the global good, non-excludable good, people support it completely. Public good, where we talk about education, internet, raids, but if it is sectional, people have their <coughs> individual interest and people generally come in conflict with each other. But if it is global good, for example, if we talk about the climate change, 
the opposition is hard in rarely is a rarity or it is in minority but if it is talk about the reservation or giving the you know uh, benefits to some particular individual or some particular groups so there will be contradictions now important part again if it is related with the gender then again there will be uh, issues with the uh, then again there will be convulsions or fight for example nobody in south korea or particularly even in, in uh, even in india you will hardly see any of the large public influences claiming that they are the feminist how many of uh, apart from swara bhaskar and richa chadda how many of you know the bollywood actress claim that they are the feminist nobody wants to be claim, claim that they are a feminist because feminist certainly comes with some kind of stereotyping okay so and uh, the giving the benefits generally enunciate an opinion on the social media where largely it is against such kind of activities nahi samjhe nahi any doubt to anyone sir you are a point repeating it as per see there is this article that uh, there, there was this news particularly related with the south korea that uh, some actress claimed that she was a feminist and she was completely decried upon and she was trivialized in many way because the public perception is there that at one side you are talking about the equality the same is case in the with the in, in the india, india also where the actress like some of the actresses are completely you know villainized or ranted upon in the public the thing is that when it is sectional interest when it is against the interest of the majority and somebody is uh, some governmental policies is supporting some other section then there is conflations and there is a fight among different between the different groups and based on that certain divergent interest develops which results in cyber bullying and cyber trollings so in such case socialization is not complete because your individual the dip hidden uh, behavior comes out in the public okay so if it is non excludable non rival is good then socialization is complete if it is for the private interest or sectional interest then trolling behavior is there why nobody wants to pay the money that's why non excludable uh, excludable and non rival is good ye to part samajh mein aate na non excludable non rival is wala part clear legislation legislation i'm not going into the detail because largely uh, these are the factual part now the way forward that parent educational institute society as a whole have the important role to correct the limit of use of social media further डेडिकेटेड सोशल मीडिया पॉलिसी वो आधार वाला पार्ट कि फिर द थिंग इज कि इफ यू लिंक इफ यू विल लिंक आधार विद फेसबुक और एनी अदर सोशल मीडिया सो सम ऑफ द क्रिटिसिजम ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट इज नॉट पॉसिबल और होल फ्री स्पीच विल बी कल्टील सो इफ नोनिटी विल बी कंट्रोल इट कैन इट विल बी डिफिकल्ट नॉट टू से द कंप्लीट फ्री व्यू स्टैंडर्ड्स ऑफ एथिकल डिजाइन or tech companies to prevent avoid and discourage digital distraction and prioritize ethical human learning the issue is that you know what is the difference between the data knowledge and information how many of you know that what is the difference and knowledge okay data data information and knowledge so data is completely raw okay and you need a 
perspective to access that data and when you use with that perspective it becomes information perspective comes from knowledge there is this poverty line in india 30 26 people percent of the people live below the poverty line 28 percent of the people live below the poverty line this is the data what is the information here and what is the knowledge here that say probably we define some debate define some amount of below poverty line and if we change that perspective information will change Modi government is good GDP infrastructure Modi government is bad social harmony is decreasing okay and in the longer run probably there are chances that we reduce social harmony conflict will occur Internal security will be threatened. Business opportunities will be limited. Okay. So, data can be analyzed in different way. Now, you have such number of the people. Nearly 80% of the people are, are comprehending the social media. Or are on the social media. They have the data. But they don't have the requisite knowledge. To comprehend that data and until and unless data, knowledge and information is not there based on that data they will find the opinion and initiate the opinion and there are problems you get a small part and you are just everybody is in the madras to propagate it or to say it without checking their reality that reality will come from knowledge So that is the part that way forward education and knowledge should be provided so that the refraining tendencies on the social media can be controlled. Yes, this is one of the important line that serious uh, action on mental health is needed significant nearly say that 55% of the social media users are suffering from some kind of mental health illness they have become addictive to it they have the less power to concentrate they have the sleep disorders there are so many studies to prove that that if a person spends more than six hours on the social media these are the problems that generally occur and if they will be problem they will be part of the socialization too because your focus will be upon the absent others rather than the present ones and this is the problem that is being witnessed in nearly in every family that even in the dinner time or during the course of meal people are involved or attached with their phones so the healthy environment the environment which is conducive for the healthy conversation generally don't take place and they are disorders on problems in the at the family level too clear any question from the first section first topic Yes, it is uh, a good thing. And it is a bad phenomenon also, they are using the violent means. So, so it, what we should write it, we should write it in benefit or we should write it in cons, right? If asked. See, uh, vulnerable sections on the sea, whenever vulnerable section comes and if they are assaulting, then it is not bad per se. They are assaulting because there is a lack of equality. That has to be understood that they are, they are assaulting. Dalit assertion is a phenomena and tribal assertion is a phenomena because there was a historical discrimination. But if that assertion turns to radicalization, then there can be problem. Sir, in the know. case of uh, in the case of George Floyd, if we uh, know about it, that after the death of George Floyd, black community asserted itself 
but that decision also created some kind of problem where nearly every section or every white population was sir, uh, commented upon, fought with or beaten. So there that part was the problem. No, we are not supposed to follow the grammar of the anarchy. Ambedkar speech. Okay, it should be within the constitutional bound. What exactly is happening in the Iran? That the subaltern and the weak women are asserting themselves. Then that is not a problematic part. And if it is going against the government of the day, then that is also fine. So, it is largely contextual in nature. See, in case of Dalit accession of 2018, uh, some kind of police force was also used. So, it should be done within the constitutional limit. That is important part. And as guided by the constitutional morality. Largely, yes, yes. So, like female protester, so oh. they were within the bound of the constitutional limit. Which? Still, still they were portrayed as bad and some actions were taken against them. Which, which, which protest you are talking about? So, CAA protest, the Citizenship Amendment Act. Okay, CAA protest. Uh, see, again as I told you that uh, it is related with one section and uh, you know a balance has to be created. I believe that they were given the free hand and permission and that is the, that was the reality and when only The first step towards achieving your dreams is having the right coach. Get the best education with Lokman IAS and make your UPSC dreams come true. Download the app now.